What's going on guys and welcome back to another Miss Elite video. So guys, today I've got another episode in my fantastically fun series surprise Sunday Hells Yeah, I'm so pumped up for this one. Um, last time I opened some Yu-Gi-Oh cards was those God Booster Packs. You guys seem to like it, but there was a few people who were like, stick to Pokemon and all that. But guys, remember this is my surprise Saturday series. Um, so yeah, pretty much where I open surprise items like Booster Packs and uh, Blind Boxes, Blind Bags aren't Pokemon related. So without further ado, let's crack into the brand new series, Dragons of Legend. Now, uh, these things just came out, I'm pretty sure, like, they're fresh, hot off the press. You can still feel the ink, like, oh, that hurts, oh, gosh. Um, but, yeah, it's really awesome, their first edition as well, being uh, straight off the press, which is really bowler. And look at the green dragon on the front, he's just looking like a bad ass. He's like, yeah. I'm a gangster, what you gonna do about it, man? Um, but yeah, this is actually really cool because they got some printed or uh, reprinted cards from the uh, old sets and uh, like fan favorite cards. I like The guy that sold me these, he's like, yeah, they got some awesome fan favorite cards printed in these as well. And I'm pretty sure a majority of these cards are shiny. So we're gonna see some shiny things. And you know what? As soon as something turns into a shiny thing in my collection, it's amazing. So without further ado, there are only five cards per boost pack in this one, but they're retailed at the same price as a Pokemon boost pack. So, uh, so yeah, you don't quite get 10 cards per pack, but 5 cards, and if they're all shiny, you know what, we can't complain. So let's open this one up. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. Yep, they're all shiny. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. We got Ice Hand as our first one. Um, oh, sorry, I had to burp. Had some iced coffee for breakfast, but, uh, but yeah, that looks like it's the, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the rare, because the rest are just shiny like that, but that's awesome. So we'll put that one at the back there. Uh, ice hand and it's got the uh, what is it? It's got the shiny text at the top there, which looks really a ball. I love that. All right, so we'll put that one at the back there. We got the uh, sword of Etos. Dun da da da. La 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 la. And that's what she's singing right there. A few Bible psalms. All oh, my mac and cheese and meatballs. I'm pretty sure this is rare. Um, what is up with the printing on this one though? Like I know these ones aren't fake, so I got it like out the sealed booster box. But that looks hell weird. So it looks like they changed the printing on these cards as well. Um, oh, it might just be this card because it's got the black, um, stars at the top. But that looks awesome. I'm pretty sure, um, that's a Heaps Baller card. The number, se uh, number C73, Abyss Super Slash. That looks so cool. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. The artwork on these is so awesome. Then we've got another hand. What's in with them creating hands? We've got Ice Hand. We've got Promincia Hand, which looks pretty bold. He looks like he's gonna, I don't know, fire an eyeball of Psychic Doom into somebody. And then we've got the, uh, Scythe of Dead, Dread Slythe, the looks of things. And it's super duper shiny in that one as well. So that's awesome start to the pack. Got two really, really cool cards. And, uh, let's see what we can get here. I'm pretty sure, is that Dark Magician Girl on the front of those boost packs? I'd want to pull her, because... I don't know, she's actually, oh my, what the, what are the chances, holy mother duck in my pants, oh my, mac and cheese and meatballs, what are the chances, I can't even breathe, <sighs> this is ridiculous, we pulled a dark magician, is that in focus, look at that, it's a, it's so tiny though, it's like a dark magician girl, the dark dragon knight, that's what's on the front of the flipping booster pack, that exact artwork, what are the chances, right after I said I wouldn't mind pulling a dark magician girl, we pulled one, that is incredible. Look at that. What the mac and cheese and meatballs. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That is such a nice card. What do you guys think in the comment section below? That is a fantastic poll. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10 would pull again. And then we got another one of these. So I'm pretty sure we must get the number cards every time. What? I can't even get over that. What are the chances of pulling that? That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll stop talking about that one. And we got number 73, Abyss Slash. <laughs> oh dear. See, we got number 73, Abbas Splash, or Slash, by the looks of things. He's pretty shiny. He's got some wings on him. He's like, yeah, I'm a boss lord. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a flipping bicycle with, like, gloves on. Oh gosh, that looks scary. Imagine if that was coming for you at 12 o'clock at night down an empty street. Dun, 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 it's like a horror film waiting to happen. And then we've got a Black Wind Steam, the cloak, um, which looks pretty sweet. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It could be a penguin or something by the looks of things. And then we've got a spell card, which is Train Connection. Dun, 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 dun. What's the train connection today? Anyways, we've got two more booster packs, but I don't think it can get any better from the pool we've already had, which is fantastic. Oh my gosh, Dark Magician Girl. Already. Oh, that's so cool. Did we get another Ice Hand? Oh my gosh, two in a row. Oh dear. All right, we'll put that one at the back there. Then we got a Philosopher's Stone spell card. A Airs Rock Sunrise, which is pretty funny. That's in Australia, Airs Rock. And then we've got a Guardian Etos. Look at the attack on that bad boy. It's 2,500, 2,000 defense, but look at how many um, attack stars it's got. 
Holy mother duck in my pants, that's ridiculous. Holy gee whiz. Alright, and then we got a Flash Fusion spell card. So that was a mainly spell field uh, booster pack by the looks of things. So now, for our very last Dragons of Legend booster pack, what can we get in here? I'm not too fast because we pulled the main card I wanted to pull, so let's dive straight into this one. Come on, guys, what do you guys want to pull? If you guys know this set, leave a comment in the comment section below of what you should see me pull. What are you guys thinking? Da, 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 da. We got a uh, raised disciple. Gosh, that looks really special. I love that card. It looks sick. Um, so much shiny happening on this thing. Um, so Ra's disciple. I think that's um, and Ra's like one of the three gods. So you got like Scyther, Obelisk, Tomb Obelisk, and all those other ones from uh, the God Boost packs that opened earlier. But that looks Ra's disciple. That looks so cool. Love that card. I'll put that one at the back as well. So we got some really nice cards today. Uh, Philosopher's Stone once again. We got the Shadow Impulse Trap card. I haven't pulled too many trap cards. Another hand card, magic hand, and then a carb card. We got a like Cabondodon, I think it is, or something along those lines. Really long name, but that is so cool. Look at that machine boss lord. Anyway, so that was a fantastic pull from all those booster packs. Um, we'll put these ones and we'll show off the rares that I did get. So recapping of what the rares we pulled, looks like we got an Ice Hand here with another Ice Hand. They're both really shiny and awesome looking cards there. A Raz Disciple, which looks, he's an absolute chiller. He's like, yeah, I walk into club and get older ladies. And that's really awesome, so I love that card there. And then my favourite personal pull from these boost packs was the Dark Magician Girl of the Dragon Knight, which looks really awesome and baller. So uh, 10 out of 10 for that opening. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Make sure you leave your suggestions for Surprise Saturday in the comment section below as well. But most of all, what are you doing, guys? What do you do? You keep on gaming. See you then, guys.